welcome you're watching headset vr welcome to the channel welcome to another gaming video now today what i'm going to be doing is showing you how to get borderlands 3 set up using uevr that's the mod from prey dog that allows you to play unreal engine 4 and 5 games in virtual reality now this is a six off profile which means that you will be allowed to use the motion controllers now before we get started now i'm running an rx 6600 xt gpu a ryzen 9 3900 x cpu and i've got 32 gigabytes of ram and i'm using the official oculus link cable to from a headset to the pc now there's a few things i'd like to mention first of all okay now there's a couple of reasons why you might not be able to get borderlands 3 to work in uevr now one of those is you might not have the correct version of uevr now this does take both versions so what you do is if you go to github github.com forward slash prydog forward slash uevr forward slash releases you can get the 1.04 version of uevr and for that just look for the link here the uevr zip and you download that now there will be a link in the description for this and we also need the uevr nightly version as well again the link will be in the description i'm not going to read the url for this one basically again just go down to the uevr zip and download that now you're probably wondering why do we need both versions of uevr well i'll be honest i don't know i didn't make this mod i just played this so this is made by a lovely chap called tim burton who i've mentioned a bit before he's the author of the profile and also one of my friends a chap called cj117 he's also worked on the crosshair mod that's involved with this profile okay another reason why you can't get this working is you might have a pirate copy of the game it won't work with a pirate copy of game now there's a couple of things in the instructions that i will explain as we're going through but what you do need to make sure is that you properly uninstall any previous versions of the profile before installing the new one so don't try and combine profiles or anything like that and make sure that you have the profile that is in the pin section of the discord channel so there will be a link in the description for the discord channel make sure you go to the top right hand corner and look for the pins tab and not only will you see um, the mod the crosshair mod but you'll also see the profile there as well okay so what we need to do first of all is make sure you've downloaded both these versions of uevr okay right so we've downloaded both versions of uevr so what we just need to do first of all is get the nightly version of uevr we'll start that up and i'll very quickly restart that as admin and then from there we import the profile that i've just downloaded in downloads here and then click open and it will give you this dll prompt just click yes and then from there you can just minimize that window down same as the uevr and we don't need this again so i can just drag that out of the way and then what we need then is the stable version of uevr the 1.04 and then we'll boot that one up i'll restart this as admin also and then what we're going to do now is if i just minimize that down minimize this down and then we need to start the game and before the gearbox logo pops up we need to have set this at borderlands 3 and then inject it and you have to do that very quickly because of a couple of the updates that need to download and install probably when the game starts so let's start the game up minimize this down and we can leave this here and wait for the game to pop up as you can see the game's going to pop up here and it should give me the option as soon as the game is probably started to select 
Borderlands 3 and inject quickly. Once if you pop the headset on, it should start loading in your headset as well. And then just all you need to do is leave all this to start running and the game should automatically boot up and go into VR mode. Okay, that's it. The game has started up now and we're in VR. And here's the character I was playing as. It is the Siren. Now, what we need to do here, first of all, is if we go into the options and go into accessibility and make sure you have controller aim assist is disabled. And also, if we come out of here and go into visuals, and go into advanced and make sure in anti-aliasing you have temporal turned off. And after that we should be able to play. So let's just give it a quick test. And we're in Borland 3 in VR. Now remind me. What'd you say you was gonna do to my gal pal Lil? God Queen Tyree will drink soup from the skull of the great heretic! <laughs> My bad, finger slipped. <laughs> oh, howdy! Didn't see you there. I understand you're gonna sort me some transport out. I heard y'all were in the neighborhood. Good to see old Lil found some new blood. That's I'm right, man. Hey, what are you staring at, hun? Oh, I'm staring you at them hooters. You hard to knock down. Yeah. Could've used you during training. Ain't you a heartbreaker? Lil said you was looking for a vehicle. Damn cultists stole all mine. Mind stealing me one back? Then I'll set you up with a catch a ride. Ooh. And thanks for coming by. You're welcome. Hey, honey. At least I know where to knock all my cigarette stubs now. <whistles> Lovely. Right, well, okay, this uh, play is absolutely amazing in VR with us. I've never ever been a, a Borderlands fan, but a Borderlands 3 in VR fan, well, yeah, you've, you've kind of got me there. So, yeah, we're just going to end this video. I didn't really want to focus on the gameplay. It was all about the setup. And I hope you guys have been able to get the game running in VR. Any difficulties, then feel free to chuck me a message or, or shout out in the Discord channel. Anyway, whoa. we'll see you soon, folks. Take care and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Feel the holy fire. More. More. Come Get good or die. Woohoo!